Hey, what's up everybody? This is Reggie with Redline Productions. And what I'm going to show you guys today is a little bit of my workflow. I'm going to be using the Kai MPC Renaissance along with Studio One. And uh, to show you what I do with the Renaissance and I also use this with um, Native Instruments Machine as well. These tools are both great. And they're similar in the fact that you can do just about everything in the box, but it's a little bit easier to mix uh, inside of a DAW. So I'm going to show you how to get tracks out of the MPC and into uh, Studio One. So what I have loaded right now is just a quick and easy track that I've done uh, previously. And um, you can take a listen to it here. But what I'm going to do is show you some of the export features inside of the Renaissance. So let's take a look at it to, to get to it. Go to export and go to as audio mix down. And here on this menu, you've got a number of settings, the audio length, you've got your total bar length. And this is important here, that tail, as you can tell on the track, I have some effects um, that come after the four bars. So to capture those effects and those delays, I have the, the tail uh, at one second, so we can capture that as well. Um, but the important stuff is right here. And as you can tell, the render option, you have stereo output, and then you have separate tracks. Stereo output, We'll just capture whatever is um, within those bars and the audio length as basically a two track uh, audio file. Um, that's not what I want to do. I want to have the track separated. I have uh, nine tracks uh, set up on, on this particular uh, piece of music here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to separate those out. Uh, you can separate them in the different formats, WAV, AIFF, and MP3. You can set your bit depth as well as your sample rate. I'm going to leave it at 1641 kilohertz in a WAV file and I'm just going to hit export. And what you have here, it uh, asks you to basically set your, your destination. I'm going to put these on my desktop and I'm just going to hit save and it's going to export that sequence into separate tracks so next I'm going to pull up studio one and I'm going to show you how, e how easy it is to drag those into uh, those separate tracks into studio one alright so I've got studio one pulled up and the first thing that you want to do is set your tempo to match what you recorded um, in the Renaissance. Inside the Renaissance, I had it set at 74.5 BPM. So now I can get the proper, proper um, measure length. And all I'm going to do is basically go to my desktop and you can do that by hitting files in your studio one browser now I named this track um, irregular I have no why no reason why I did that but that's what I did so all I'm gonna do is you can see all the individual tracks are laid out there and all I'm gonna do is Highlight all of them. Oh, I got an extra one there. And then drag them in right there. So now, once I have it inside Studio One, all right. 
right, so I'm going to hit play so you can hear it here. So there you go with that. Now, from here, what I like to do is to go ahead and group um, and start to basically duplicating some of the tracks and spread them spread them out and as you can imagine in studio one it's a lot easier to do that instead of doing it within the renaissance that's kind of a little bit of my workflow and then as far as mixing you have all your individual tracks and meters down here below and then access to all your plugins and um, I find this is a real easy way for me to be able to mix and master tracks than trying to mix and use the different cue links and different menus and things like that inside the Renaissance. So, but that's a little snapshot of my workflow. I hope you guys find this useful. If you have any questions or any suggestions or anything to add, please leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. And uh, hope to hear from you guys soon.